Hey T-Wolves, I'm Kendra. And I'm Lauren. The Wolf, the Wolf View, View begins, begins now. now. White no baby! White Knoll, we are starting a new Student of the Month program. Each month, teachers will nominate students for the award, and one student per grade level will be selected. So, congratulations to our first students of the month senior Ford Pierce, junior Jesse Rogers, sophomore Danica Odom, and freshman Haley Carnegie. Congratulations to the following White Knoll High School students for being selected to the SCBDA All-State Bands and Region 2 Honor Bands. For All-State Bands, Amanda Yarsinski, Flute 12, Jack Bernard, Bassoon 2, Andrew Mixon, Alto Saxophone 3A, Elijah Skinner, Percussion 6, Adam Surak, Percussion 5, and for All-State Jazz Bands, Jack Bernard, Piano 2. And for Region 2 Honor Bands, Emma Valentine, Flute 5, Sarah Williams, Flute 9, Jack Bernard, Bassoon 4, Haley Kreider, Bass Clarinet 4, Andrew Mixon, Alto Saxophone 2, Austin Vestal, Trumpet 1, Taylor Lane, Trumpet 12, Jackson Cohort, Trumpet 4A, Bree Earhart, Trombone 7, Gabrielle McCall, Tuba 4, Lucas Lamastro, Tuba 1A, Hayden Harbaugh, Precaution 7, Ashlyn Miller, Flute 8, Patrick McGee, Alto Saxophone 2A, Kennedy Brown, Horn 5, Jesse Rogers, Trombone 5, and Will Woods, 2 before. Today we're continuing our Bop or Flop segment. Bop or Flop! Our last song, The Sign, by Ace of Bass, was rated a bop by 71% of you, which means 71% of you have good taste in music. Our next bop or flop sing is a very old school jam from 1996, Stepping Stone, by the Monkees, suggested by Miss Ott. Let's check it out. I'd say it's a bop. I've heard my mom listen to the song before. Yeah, I agree. So let us know if you think this is this song is a bop. Uh, so let us know if you think this song is a bop or flop by heading over to at WKHS Pack YB on Instagram and answering the poll in their story. Today's feature for Black History Month is from Riley Knight featuring Hollywood legend Cicely Tyson. Continuing our celebration of Black History Month, I'll be talking about Cicely Tyson. Cicely was born in New York City, New York in 1924 and grew up in Harlem. At 18, she left a typing job and took a shot at modeling. It wasn't long before she was drawn to acting. When Cicely was young, she wasn't allowed to watch plays or movies, so her decision strained the relationship with her mother for two years. Cicely quickly found a success in acting. In 1963, she scored a role as Secretary Jane Foster in the TV drama series East Side, West Side. She later went on to play mother of Kunta Kinte in the movie Roots, the lead play of The Corn is Green, and a role in Sonder. Cicely's career was not an easy one. She was very specific about the role she selected. Money did not move her, and she never selected a demeaning role. Cicely wanted her work to serve a purpose. Her career lasted seven decades and she acted in over a hundred film, televisions, and stage roles. Tyson received many awards including three Emmys and at 88 became the oldest person to win a Tony. In 1977 she became a member of the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame and in 2016 at the age of 93 she was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame into the Television Hall of Fame in 2020 at the age of 95. In 2016, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Barack Obama. Throughout her life, she was a political activist, philanthropist, 
author, teacher, and actress. And though she faced many challenges, she believes that those challenges helped her discover new things about herself that she never really knew. That's the wolf view for today. Have a great day and go, go T-Wolves!